Hello everybody. Uh, right, you join me on a crisp January afternoon and uh, we've had some pretty rotten weather to be honest, but uh, from about the middle of December I've been starting to prune all of um, last year's growth off the vines um, to ready them for the forthcoming season which really should kick off in about sort of March April time when the buds um, burst through and we start the whole process all over again but anyway we had a good harvest back in October and um, I've, pl I've already put a, a video online about how we harvest the grapes but this year I had a couple of new pieces of equipment which I used which I think were really really good that was a grape decent stemmer um, and crusher and also a hydro press which squeezes all the juice out of the uh, the grapes as well and both pieces of equipment work really well for us so I'll do a separate video on that but the subject of this video is really how we're going to be pruning the the vines um, this is year three so it's going to be the same for years three four five onwards really from now on year two pruning is a little bit different and I put a video um, on separately on how to prune year two vines but this is year three and they're starting to take a more sort of you know how great vines should look like anyway um, so we're going to do the double guillot method of um, pruning these vines which essentially means taking a vine that looks a right old mess like this one here with canes going all over the place um, and training it into something that looks a little bit like this one here which which um, you've got the main stem coming up and you've got uh, one year canes going off one side and another one year cane going off the other side with some backup, um, well not backup ones, but buds in the middle here in the crown that's going to form um, the new canes in the uh, the middle. Okay so before we get started we just need two pieces of equipment for all of the slot. First of all um, a really good uh, set of um, secateurs something like that which will get through some quite sort of woody stems that we've got and the other thing is my um, I can't remember what these are called, uh, Max Tapeners, uh, which are absolutely fantastic for very quickly tying um, canes onto the uh, fruiting line. Um, so these are absolutely brilliant. You can get these on eBay or Amazon or wherever, um, but it's very, very quick, rather than fiddling around with wire tie ties and things like that. Anyway, we've got a, a vine here um, that's got all of the um, last year's growth on it. It's all um, very dormant at the moment. We've got the familiar looking um, T shape in the middle here um, that uh, this is uh, this this woody bit here is now two years old um, and you can see it's very different from the smooth one year old um, canes that come off from it but what we're really trying to establish is the next T um, that will be one year old so we've got uh, one here for example which looks really good we've got one here which looks really good and when I say really good they should be about eight millimeters or more in thickness um, so that they can survive the uh, the winter frosts and things like that any thinner uh, let's see if we can find them um, in fact all these are quite good this one here for example um, is thinner than eight millimeters and I suspect this probably won't survive that is still okay actually but it might not survive another frost so we're not interested in ones which are really thin like that but uh, these ones here are pretty good so uh, what we're going to do is cut off basically uh, the old two-year-old um, bits here so we can cut through that um, we can cut through that one Okay, that's it. So that can all go. And then we've decided we're going to keep this one and this one. And uh, so everything else can go as well. But we're going to have to have a think about what happens in a year's time from now. Uh, we want essentially uh, replacement ones for these two. And they're going to come from the buds that are in the middle here at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut back... Um, uh, all this but just leaving a bud or two on each one um, that way we can have some uh, that one's quite good as well actually uh, but no I'll cut that one cut that one as well and that one right I'll cut everything back in a second so that vine is essentially done with the new one year canes coming from the middle and then in a year's time we'll have loads of canes coming from the middle from these buds that I've left on here and they will form the next one year canes which will bend round and um, that will be the next year done. So essentially the double gear method just relies upon the fact that we're just using one year old canes for the fruiting lines and we're going to count roughly eight, uh, eight to ten or so buds um, from the middle. So we've got one there, one 
uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, we'll cut it up there somewhere. Oops, if you can see it, cut it up there. That will do. That's that one done. Um, and then it's just a matter of cutting all this stuff back and getting rid of it and just chucking it on the ground ready for it to be burnt or composted or whatever you do with it. Now you can see why the tapener ones are much better than these twist ties because the twist ties you've actually got to untwist to actually undo them so they can be a little bit of a pain. Um, I'm not going to be using these wire ones anymore. Okay, so I've come around to the other side now. Um, as you can see, uh, we've got a nice T-junction here where we've got uh, a one-year-old cane going this way and another one going the other way. Um, the bit in the middle, which is actually a little bit above um, the T-junction here, I've got some spare buds. I've got one there, one there, uh, another couple up here, um, one down there. And it's basically from this cluster that in a year's time, I'm gonna get a whole load more canes. Um, and then I can basically choose another two in a year's time that will take over from these two which I've um, put either side uh, today. Now if you did want to do um, the tapener at the same time these are fantastic tools if you can get your hands on them um, because what you do is you literally just um, put it over the vine like that, squeeze and it just ties it uh, very quickly um, to the fruiting line like that. Very very quick. And so uh, that vine is totally finished. Now, I'll do another one so that you can see uh, another example. And then what I'll do is I'll find a few vines and there'll be plenty here because they are only uh, three-year-old vines and um, they don't always conform to uh, the shape that you want them to straight away. Um, how we treat uh, some vines that don't look quite as easy as that one. Um, but let's find, first of all, another one and I can show you exactly the same thing on another. Okay, here's another vine that um, at the moment looks a bit of a mess because uh, it's got, you know, canes going all over the place and somehow we've got to get some kind of order out of those. So uh, first of all, decide which ones you uh, think are going to look good. Um, this one here looks super, it's uh, nice and thick. Um, it's going off in uh, the right direction over this way. Uh, this one here looks pretty good as well. So I think I'm going to choose these two um, and everything else can go bearing in mind that we've got to leave a few buds in the middle here um, as our um, you know, future uh, bud growth for um, next year. So I'm going to, I've, see I've got a couple of buds here, so I'm going to just cut that one off there. Uh, this one is a little bit low, but I'll keep a, a bud down there as well. Uh, that's fine. Keeping these two, so we're going to get rid of this one here. That's fine, that's gone. Uh, keeping that one, we want a couple of extra buds uh, perhaps there, so we'll cut that one there. This one here is a really good one to keep um, because this one could well be um, where all the buds come from that we want to keep for next year. So I've got a really nice bud just there, which you can just see. I've got another one just there. I'm going to keep three on this one because I think that's a super one to keep. Um, so I'm going to cut that one there. Okay, so all of a sudden we've got some semblance of uh, order on this vine now. So we've got um, the stem coming up, we've got the two branches going off either side, we've got lots of spare um, buds uh, that will uh, develop over the year and sprout more canes from the middle. Um, and then it's just a matter of uh, tying these down eventually, but as I said in the beginning, I'm just going to work up and down the aisle um, up and down the row, just cutting to, to start with and clearing all the um, the old stuff out of the way. And then on another day, I'll come down and um, tie these ones to the fruiting line. So um, that's essentially how I'm doing the double guillo method of pruning on these vines. Um, not all vines uh, conform to this sort of shape. Uh, also, you'll find that as the vine gets older, this becomes a lot easier to identify because you'll have loads of, of vines um, coming from the middle. This will bush out to be a, a bit more of a crown um, and all the uh, the new uh, canes will really sprout from the the middle and it's easier to choose two nice ones uh, when they're new vines like this it's just a little bit harder to um, identify the ones which you're going to keep um, so they're two examples of ones which um, are quite easy to do um, what I'm going to do now is find some which aren't very easy and uh, see how we're going to treat those
Okay, it didn't take long to find uh, an example of vine which hasn't gone quite according to plan in terms of shape, and this is one here. Uh, we've got uh, the original T junction here, which forms our um, t you know double geo um, type of shape. But there's nothing really here that will take over. Um, uh, you know, this one here is a bit weedy. Uh, this one here is not great either. Um, that one there is not brilliant. And as a you know, we've got nothing. to This one here is pretty good, um, and it's not coming right from the middle, but it, it, at least it's somewhere near the middle. So on this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a couple of um, buds that will take over from uh, next year. I'm going to cut it there. Um, now, I haven't got anything that goes this way, so I'm going to actually keep last year's um, vine. This is going to be two, sorry, cane. This is going to be two years old. Um, over the uh, the summer, but I've got nothing else that will take over. So I'm just going to snip back um, these to essentially give it the same shape. I'll cut that one there as well. Um, this one here is not brilliant, um, so I'm actually going to cut that one back as well. So that all goes, that's all out of the way. So that's one side. Uh, this side similar, I'm going to cut that one there. Now, this one here is actually quite good. Um, it's nice and thick. That will definitely survive the winter. And so what I'm going to do is actually cut this one, this side, like that. Get rid of that. And then this one is now going to sort of take over the, um, the T, as it were. So that's going to be folded down. And this one here is going to be laid um, along the, the fruiting line, like something like that. Okay, so we are actually using a little bit of last year's. We are actually using totally last year's um, there. And um, the the center canes uh, for in a year's time will actually come from the buds that I've left. So I've got uh, a couple of little buds there, which look really good. I've got one there, I've got one there, um, I've got uh, one there as well. And I've got these backup ones down here, just in case it all goes completely pear-shaped. At least I've got a couple of backup spurs or canes uh, down here that will take over as well. So this one is um, not ideal, uh, but at least it's going to conform to a sort of double guillot type uh, method. Um, this one, which comes over here, which looks a little bit short, um, I'm not too worried about that because I'll get grapes hopefully from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, possibly nine um, uh, buds that are coming off this fruiting line. Um, so that's one example where it's not gone quite according to plan, but it's still very usable. Um, and we can hopefully over the years form a better shape at this sort of um, this T junction here. So um, that's one example where it's not gone quite right, but we've managed to do something with it. Uh, let's find another one. Some vines you'll find also take quite a few years to really establish themselves. Um, I'd say probably about 95% of all the vines in the vineyard here are well established now, they're well on their way, the root systems are, uh, are nicely developed, they've gone down some depth, and um, as a consequence, the, the bit above the ground is, is growing nicely, but not all of them do that. Uh, this one here, for example, is struggling a little bit. It's, uh, you can see that it's uh, probably about eight millimeters thick on the stem here. Uh, we have got, uh, you know, some some fairly thin sort of canes coming off. Um, they're not great, uh, to be honest. And the best thing that we can do here is really just start afresh, um, rather than trying to force this one, uh, which as you can see from my, the thickness of my finger, isn't particularly thick. Um, this one's even thinner. Um, and really, we're not going to get a great um, yield from that. So all we're going to try and do this year is to get this um, developing a little bit thicker, a little bit better. And the best way we can do with this is just to start again. So we're not going to actually make anything from uh, this one. We're going to keep off, uh, cut off um, everything that's coming from the middle. We're going to probably cut this one round about the uh, level of the fruiting line here. And we're going to treat it essentially as a one year old cane. Hopefully after one year old, you know, one year, they're up to the fruiting line. Um, and we're just going to cut that one there as well. Okay, so we're just going to keep this one totally uh, new. So what will happen this year, hopefully, is that we'll get um, some side shoots uh, developing from this one, from the buds there, 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 there. Um, 
And as the vine becomes a little bit more established, hopefully this year, the whole plant will become thicker and sturdier and resemble more what the other vines have um, done over the last year or two. Um, so that's a pretty weedy one. Um, that's probably the best we can do for that one for this for, you know, for this coming year. Now, this one is uh, an example of where it's not gone quite right again, similar to the uh, one which I did, uh, not, not the last one, but the one before, um, in that we've got a nice T-junction in the middle here, uh, which formed our nice um, double guillot type uh, shape um, the year before. Uh, we've got nothing really that's going to take over from this side other than this one here, which comes off the second um, junction, as it were, second bud. Uh, so we're going to be using this one. And likewise, on this one, we're going to use this one here. Um, and cut everything else back, but keeping um, these buds in the middle. And it'll be from these ones that um, uh, we'll get loads of canes uh, this coming year. So we're actually going to cut this one probably about, about there. Cut all these off as well, like so. So we're going to keep get rid of all of that and keep oops, this one here. And then on the other side, we're going to do something similar. We're going to cut it just there, get rid of that one there, and bend this one over if I can. Finally, you'll get some vines that just don't have any kind of uh, good shape to them at all, and this is one such example. Um, we had the original T here, but it's a right old mishmash. Um, I've got uh, some pretty weedy ones coming off from the uh, the middle, ones going off in all sorts of different directions. Um, this one here is quite a nice strong one, but it's going in the wrong direction as it were. Um, and it, you know, you just do scratch your head sometimes and think what on earth can I do with this one? Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to have to establish a new T-junction. Um, this one is pretty hopeless. I think, to be honest, we can probably cut all of that back or maybe leave one or two spare uh, buds um, and actually start again from a little bit higher up here, for example. Um, so if we use this as our T, so this one can come off nicely to the right. Um, we'll come up here. Um, we haven't got anything else coming from the center, but we've got this one here, uh, which is a nice strong one, which is very close to the um, the center. So I think what we'll do with this one um, is actually cut it down there, uh, cut it here, and uh, leave some buds somewhere in the middle. We've got some nice buds there and see if we can establish a new T-junction uh, this time next year. Um, it's a right old mess, this one. Um, so uh, we'll just have to... Um, see what we can do. Um, but essentially uh, that is it um, t showing you how we um, cut the vines here. Uh, people do have different variations but um, in the beginning I've shown you some nice ones that conform to uh, how we're wanting them to uh, shape over the years and the latter two or three examples are ones which um, aren't so good but sometimes you learn more from ones which aren't so good um, and as the vineyard becomes more and more established and we're cutting back year after year after year leaving those uh, few buds in the middle to establish the new canes for the uh, coming season um, you get a better crown in the middle uh, to choose from so it does become a little bit easier as the years go by um, to get that uh, that nice sort of shape for the double guillo method um, anyway I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope you found uh, it of some use um, put any comments in the section uh, below. Um, I'll join you in the uh, next video, uh, which hopefully will be a little bit warmer than it is today, and uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, buds bursting soon. Uh, the next video that I'm probably going to do is on what we do for fertilizing uh, or putting some nutrients back into the ground, because uh, we've taken quite a lot out, um, and that would include things like uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, um, uh, potassium things like that uh, but we're not going to do that until a little bit later on in the um, in the springtime uh, so stay tuned and uh, I'll catch you in the next video but until the next one bye for now